Not to get too personal or anything, but they're cutting down the tree outside the house that I rent, and it makes me feel kind of vulnerable. Makes you feel like, you know, if they can just come and cut down the tree right by where you live, they can just come and cut you down where you live. Because after all, we have a history of doing such things. I have a whole slew of things to say about it that are probably, you know, things that I should put in my poem notebook. I got this cool label for my poem notebook, by the way. Wired by 13. I wonder what that's from. This is the second day in a row I've had to listen to slash watch somebody clumsily hack at the remains of the corpse of the only beautiful living thing on the grounds of where I live. A lot of people around here seem to have no idea what they're doing when they do their amateur construction projects, and most disturbingly, they have no idea that they should consult with you, the person who lives here, about whether or not what they're hacking at is annoying. I wish I could have like an Orwell level of self-righteousness, but I just have a me level of self-righteousness. And I think I have an ordinary sort of human level of fear about it. Like, don't come over here with an axe. Don't get that close to me. Anyway, that brings us to the topic at hand. Well, it doesn't really bring us to the topic at hand, but I'm, I'm choosing to now start talking about the topic at hand. <laughs> First, let's get a little uh, light on my, our, our candle here. Just to, so things will be better. Now that we've got a flame, I want to talk about music I've liked recently, since I think this is, this is like my attempt at responding to a tag, which is something I've never responded to before. But I, I saw that the Grim Reader did something about music uh, that they recently liked lately. And so I want to talk about this Judy Sill CD and how I came to get it. Basically, I found out about Judy Sill because someone posted on their Instagram story about this song, Waterfall. I listened to it and it was unlike anything I'd ever heard in power. And I quickly grew to love Judy Sill. Um, like, learning her songs one by one, drawing them nearer to me. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear, there's, they're sawing at the roots of that stump. And that's what I hear all day. <laughs> it's kind of reminds me of uh, Judy Sill's life somehow. Like always kind of a hacking at living things happening all around her. And kind of this like frustrated person uh, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the center of it. Not to compare myself to Judy Sill too much, because of course she's much better at writing. Than I'll ever be. But um, anyway, she has a myth surrounding her about her perseverance. And I know she's a human being with flaws and she didn't always behave right, the right way all the time. But um, that overall myth is really like, it does kind of hold up. It, it somehow, it, it's like a story worth keeping with you somehow, I think. There, there used to be a tall living birch tree with really nice bark growing there. And now there's just a gaping hole of torn up soil that gets bigger the more they hack at it seemingly without knowing what to do next. And that's also the gunk that the other neighbor leaves anyway. So I've never <clears throat> hacked up a tree or had to remove a stump, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. You know, who would have thought that my uh, ire <laughs> at uh, the noise of uh, hacking at trees would come out during this video where I'm just trying to talk a little bit about Judy Sill. I really am taking a long time to get to any point. Basically, um, Judy Sill um, is someone I've come to love, and this is an album that I've come to covet. That I, that, I, that I coveted this album for maybe like a year or a year and a half after I knew it existed. It used to exist on, on streaming services. You used to be able to stream Waterfall, Dead Time Bummer Blues, all the songs that are on here. But it's not on streaming anymore, and the only tech place you can listen to it is um, either uh, on YouTube in a video, which is, you know, not, not, ra not very portable, and you don't always want to kind of navigate to YouTube to listen to music. I mean, in my case, I make videos on YouTube, and every time I go, I am distracted by looking at, you know, my, my channel and being like, oh, what kind of stupid videos have I made? These are so stupid. <laughs> um, so you're so distracted by that. That you, you know, that's not the place you want to listen to music, or you could listen to it uh, by buying a copy of the CD, which would which would be um, like a lot of money. The cheapest I've ever seen it offered for was maybe like seventy five dollars recently. I think a copy is still on eBay if you want to purchase that. If you want to purchase it for me, you know, feel free. 
But then at last I um, encountered a friend who had a very special way of torrenting and getting um, MP3s and through the grapevine, through the grapevine, they were able, you know, amazingly to me to pass the MP3s for this, this album. Um, and finally, uh, I was able to burn myself a copy and basically, you know, I can almost kind of, like every hour since has been sort of, you know, governed by, or it's sort of been blessed by like a love of this album and the presence of this voice, you know, I knew this album was going to be good when I actually sat down and started listening to it all the way through, but I, I didn't, um, really know exactly how much of a hold it would have over me. It turns out it was actually produced by, or it was actually engineered by Emmett Rhodes, mixed by Jim O'Rourke, two, two producers that, you know, of course, I, as someone who likes, you know, dry, kind of searching songcraft, uh, uh, you know, I really appreciate them. And um, so every, the stars are aligning here, and this is kind of a miraculous thing to have. Um, and it's, it's, it's even better than you would think it would be. Um, the home recordings, um, the, m all, all of them are as beautiful as Waterfall. Some of them are even more kind of intimate, having noise from the kitchen in them and noise from like a child who's kind of wailing. <laughs> like I'm wailing at the people, you know, sawing down trees by me, by the place I rent. <laughs> you know, people, uh, although those, those kids aren't crying in the, in the song. They're, 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 like, I'm just saying that there's the noise of a child making a sound. <laughs> um, anyway, and then on the album itself, the songs are so amazing. They're so, they, they really play into the myth of, they fit right into the myth of, of Judy Sill as this, like, person persevering against all odds. And, um, And the demos that go along, the demos of those songs on that album are uh, also really beautiful. Um, and I really don't know what my, what else to say other than that. Um, it got me to get out this really, look how gross that is, this old um, CD player that I got from, um, from the dollar store in Hyde Park uh, like years ago. And I, I've been listening on these earbuds um, in bed uh, uh, when it's dark. And listening to this is a crazy experience. If you, if you kind of, uh, you know, if you Google and kind of listen around and you like the first bit you hear of Judy Sill, I rest assured there's much more to enjoy. And um, I am making this video to just say, you know, delve in and explore and also to kind of thank the fates for my charmed life that has so much rare Judy Sill music in it. <laughs>